St. Augustine's Confessions, Book 4, Confessions 1. During the space of those nine years, from the 19th to the 28th year of my life, I was led astray myself and led others astray in my turn. We were alike deceivers and deceived in all our different aims and ambitions, both publicly when we expounded our so-called liberal ideas, and in private, through our service to what we called religion. In public, we were cocksure, in private, superstitious, and everywhere, void and empty. On the one hand, we would hunt for worthless popular distinctions, the applause of an audience, prizes for poetry, or quickly fading wreaths won in competition. We loved the idle pastimes of the stage and in self-indulgence we were unrestrained. On the other hand, we aspired to be purged of these lowly pleasures by taking food to the holy elect, as they were called, so that in their paunches it might pass through the process of being made into angels and gods who would set us free. These were the objects I pursued and the tasks I performed together with friends who, like myself and through my fault, were under the same delusion. Let the proud deride me, O God, and all whom you have not yet laid low and humiliated for the salvation of their souls. But let me still confess my sins to you for your honour and glory. Allow me, I beseech you, to trace again in memory my past deviations and to offer you a sacrifice of joy. Without you, I am my own guide to the brink of perdition. And even when all is well with me, what am I but a creature suckled on your milk, and feeding on yourself the food that never perishes. And what is any man, if he is only man? Let the strong and mighty laugh at men like me. Let us, the weak and the poor, confess our sins to you.